chickens. I love chickens. They are so cute. Here comes Don't the peach. peach. Don't. Pinching time. No, it's not. No. No. What's... No. Bonk. Don't. Don't even start with me. Bonk. Bonk. I know where you sleep. Bonk. It's bonking time. It's not bonking time. Absolutely bonking time. I. I like this Activision logo. Reminds me of another Activision game that I played, and I loved it. What game was that? Sea World Tycoon. Mm. I used to build a bathroom right by the entrance gate and charge five bucks for people to use it. And then I would build a sidewalk all the way to the other end of, of the park and build a restaurant that was called Waterfront Cafe or something like that. And then I put a free bathroom right next to it. So what's the purpose of that? I needed money for the sidewalk. <laughs> okay, so why was one restroom $5 and the other one not? Well, the first thing I would put down is a $5... Bathroom. Bathroom. Sorry. Why was one bathroom $5 and the other one's not? The $5 <laughs> bathroom funded the entire park. People walk in and they gotta go. So they would drive all the way to your SeaWorld place from God knows where. Yes. And as soon as they get there, they would use Buy the bathroom. Buy tickets and go to the bathroom. That's actually smart. I should try that the next time I play Roller Coaster. Not Tycoon. Uh, Planet Coaster. Planet Coaster. <laughs> Good game, Planet Coaster. That's free advertising right there. Also Who makes like that? Frontier Games? Frontier Games. They also made... Uh, Zoo? Planet, Planet Zoo, Zoo? Which I like playing. What's your favorite thing about Planet Zoo? Oh, the babies. Oh, they're Who are, so cute. Who are the babies? There's baby red pandas. And there's poison dart frogs. And they're <clears> so small. I know they're not babies, but I call them all babies. because They're all your babies. They're all my babies. And you love them dearly. I do love them dearly. Oh, heck. I forgot to change my... Hang on. What's going on? I have to change my screen resolution. Oh. Anyways, keep talking about your babies. My babies are all virtual. Or fuzzy. Fuzzy babies? Fuzzy babies. Oh, some, some babies have feathers. Yes. Um, Planet Zoo. Yes. Love that game. Um, right now I'm playing in career mode, I think it's called. So it, where you do the scenarios. Yeah. Tell us more. I have to put elephants in. But mm -hmm. I don't, I've never put elephants in a zoo before, so I don't know what they need. So I'm scared. I'm scared. Are you scared? I'm scared. I think this looks good. I think you look great. Not talking about me, oh. but thank you. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> See, I can't hear you. Say I something. Didn't say anything. See, I can't hear you. Say something. See? You can you're, hear me. You're so soft. I okay. am not. I mean, I am, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not soft. I'm not soft. I'm yes, soft. you are. So soft. I am not. I am. Hello, and welcome back, everybody. My name is Salty Self. And I'm Pocket Kitten. And I'm a disabled veteran, but instead of giving into the deep down, dark, deep down of PTSD, depression, despair, and all that nonsense, I just started a Twitch channel so you all can watch me suck. Or succeed. Either way, I hope you enjoy. Today, we're continuing our fun, fun game of... Spyro! Spyro the who the what now? Spyro the dragon! Spyro the dragon. First one. But this is the... Well, it's, not, it's not the first one. It's, it's, all, it's all three of the good ones. Oh. We don't talk about the rest. Those are all... Those are, those are all sellouts by... 
Universal Studios for cash grabs. So I'm pretty sure we completed this entire first world. Yeah. Yeah, we got all we the did. eggs and the dargons and the jewels. And then the neighbors started mowing their lawn. I see you oh, okay. Dragon, Spyro. Yes, Marco. You may travel to the peacekeeper's world if you like. Oh, please. Are you ready to go? Yes, <laughs> let's go. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank sorry you. Sorry about. Minutes. Sorry about your. Sorry about your broke neck. He's not broke. He's well, cold. He just, well, he just. We just jumped on his head. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, mate. I. <sighs> you got your water? Yep. Okay. I got my water over here. What happened to your socks? I don't know what happened to my socks. Are your feet cold? You no. Know. You no, know, not yet. Not yet. No, not yet. Soon though. Soon. Maybe. Maybe. Water is so pretty. I know, right? In the first game, it looked uh, like not water. Well, it was early yet. It was their first game. Yeah. Welcome to peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been. I like this dude. Against us, please recover our treasures, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Just like his aesthetic. Yes. Oh, salute! Yay! Very cool looking. Oh. <laughs> Well, get out of here. Does this mean we had gems just like lying around in order for them to be turned into soldiers? Yeah. We didn't like okay. put them in a vault. So and according then they to been locked in the vault. According to the unofficial spiral lore, Nasty Nork started stealing the dragon's treasure, but the dragons were like apparently undecided. Some were like, yeah, whatever. It's just. They're just, they're just rocks, mate. But then some of them are like, no, we're dragons. We hoard that stuff. That belongs to us. So that's what caused the whole interview. Uh, which which led to them be like, oh, he's not a threat. He's contained in a remote world. He's a simple creature. Oh, also, he's ugly. And then, then Nasty Nork got his feelings hurt and turned everyone into crystal. Not sure that was an appropriate response, but... Well, I mean, he was already he was already being kind of a butthead by stealing something that didn't belong to him. Yes. Hang on, I have to <clears throat> clear my throat. <clears> throat. Come on, do the thing. Do the thing. Don't just stand there in fear. Do the thing. They used to do a thing. Uh, I don't want to spoil it. Hello? Anyone in here? Anyone in here? No? Okay. Nobody home. Look at these little rabbits. Hi, rabbits. Aren't you cute? With your shifty eyes. They're all twitchy. Oh my goodness. Oh, see, there it goes. He, he, they, they moon you when they you turn away. They mooned me. Pocket Kitten likes her buns toasted. I like my buns toasted. Dearest got me a toaster oven. Did I get you a toaster? After my toaster died. And then... And then... And I, then... I got another toaster because I still can't figure out how to make pop tarts in the toaster oven. They always burn. I don't. I'm not doing it wrong. But I taught you how to use it correctly. It's. It doesn't work. I don't know. The problem is you're just not a morning person. Mm. Wow. So you just you you just sort of like trudge into the kitchen. You throw your food in there and then you just give it a good old. Good old Texas titty twister on the on on the knob, oh. and then you walk away and forget about it. But I don't think I forget about it. Oh, that was just a little cactus. Yeah, he's fine. No, you do. I don't know. You go to the bath. You go to the bathroom and sit on the toilet for like thirty minutes until your alarm goes off again, and you're like, "Oh shoot, I have to go to work." I no. Heck yeah, look at that belly. He's a peacekeeper. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butter. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Is that what you've been doing, Bank? Eating butterflies? Not him. He's been eating something with butter. But, um, shh. More like butter and fries. Actually, that kind of sounds gross. Yeah, it does. 
I mean, you eat your french fries with oil. Never tried them with butter. Oh, heck, I need to blow that one up, too. Blow it up, dearest. Have you ever tried them with... What's the thing that some European countries do? Mayonnaise? No. Uh, what about mustard? Yes. I like a little mustard I on like my fries. I like a little mustard on my fries. And but your favorite I'm... is the, uh... One. Is that... Is that yellow mayonnaise that you get from, uh, that... One place that makes chicken. No product placement here. You know the one I'm talking oh, about. Oh, yes. <laughs> They're special sauce. Special sauce. You can only get it at the special chicken place. You got quiet all of a sudden. You thinking about the sauce? I'm thinking about the sauce. She's lost in the, <laughs> she's lost in the sauce. Oh, get that egg sucker. You are naughty. We are going to get Key. you. Nah, 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 nah. I'm uh -huh. coming for you. We're coming for you. Get All right. Yes. I gotta. You gotta do. You, hang on. You gotta do this glide maneuver. There you go. Boom. That makes three. Good. Hello. Get the Gunnar. Back. Uh. Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work. I'm not crazy about having. Yes, sir. I'm not crazy about having a maw of teeth on the outside of my lips. I like, I like, I love my lips. I love my lips. I beep love beep your beep lips. Beep 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 beep. All right. Bop, 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 See if I can bop, nail this on the first try. Oh, jeez. Okay. They don't have the flutter maneuver like they do in the second game. Hmm. I got it. Easy peasy. Oh, you have the key already. Yeah, yeah. It was back there with Gunnar. Gunnar! And that egg sucker. Did you ever meet, uh, did you ever meet? Did you ever watch, uh, that wasn't Boy, it wasn't, it wasn't Boy Meets World, was it, with, um, Shia LaBeouf? No, I did not watch that. No, I don't think it was Boy Meets World. No, that wasn't Shia LaBeouf. There was a show, mm -hmm. but it had Shia LaBeouf in it. Yeah? And he had an older brother. Uh-oh. I'm trying to think of the name of the show. Hmm. And anyways, in one episode... I think his mom had hired some, uh, like sort of chef dude team, but the head the head chef was French, and he had like this, honest to god like live duck, yeah, in the kitchen, in the and, kitchen, and I guess apparently the French word for duck is canard or something like that, yeah, but then Shia LaBeouf's character fell in love with the duck, and he's like, you can't eat him, he's adorable. So they ended up adopting the duck and absconding it or rescuing it from the chef. And they named it Canard. Canard! So at the end of the episode, they're yelling at each other from across the house. You know, good night, so-and-so, good night, so-and-so. And they're like, good night, Canard. And the duck goes, Wah. I was like, oh, that's heckin' adorable. That's so cute. Uh, so, what? Uh... What's been going on with you in in IRL, if you don't mind sharing that with us, PK? Something really cool happened to you this past week. Yeah, I, uh, I, I think I'm good. In other words, you don't want to talk about it? No. You don't want to talk about your, your, your really great achievement? No. Oh, but I'm so proud of you. Aww. Well, we got to talk about something. Oh, well, I was going to talk about how I haven't really watched much TV in my life. But I You were kind of sheltered. I have watched... I went the wrong way, I think. If I do watch something, I never watch the entire thing. Because uh, if I like it, I never want it to end. Oh, heck. I'm not going to make... It. No. I hate, I ran into the wall. Even Stevens, thank you, Blood Fang Shiro, and welcome back. This is my wife and co-host Pocket Kitten. Hi. I uh, the only thing I've ever watched all the way through is How I Met Your Mother, because I heard the ending was terrible. Yeah, a lot of people were uh, not so crazy about it. Yeah, but I that one I watched to the end. 
and everyone I knew was very upset by it. <laughs> I watched it much later after it had come out. So after I watched it, I was like, oh, high school makes sense. Because ah. everyone kept saying legend, wait for it, dairy. dairy. And I was like, what are y'all saying? You were, out, you, were, you were outside of the meme circles. That was the problem. I was. I was outside of all the circles. I was so far out of the circles, I made my own circles. But weren't you in marching band? Yes. No. Wait, were you in marching band or just band band? I was in band band, but you did marching band half the time and concert the other half. You didn't have a choice. Oh, okay. <laughs> well then. Yeah. I I didn't care for marching band though. Oh yeah? No. Got it that time. But it gave me my PE credit so I could graduate from high school. Woo! And that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to drink my my muscle powder after I worked out on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I've just been sore the last three days. Yeah. Okay, so I did that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. All right, so now we're going to go over here and do the first level. Bonk. Bonk. Yeah, here. Are all of these the Peacekeeper guys? What do you mean? The, we're entering Dry Canyon. Are the Peacekeepers in here? Yeah, this is... All these little separate worlds are part of the Peacekeepers region of the Dragon Realms. Okay. So there's five or six? I can't recall off the top of my head. Currently there's five or six. There used to be more, which you find out in like the second and third games. Apparently, there's less and less, you know, as time goes on, because no one knows where the heck all the female dragons went. Well, probably like the Ent from Lord of the Rings. They lost their, their mama dragons. They lost their Ent wives. I'm here, sir. Ah, uh, uh, whoa. whoa. Camera. Camera, please. Camera, please. Camera, please. I'm trying to get the egg sucker. Got it. Bonk. Save the baby! I saved the babies. Oh no, this guy's shooting at us. Bonk. Ooh. That's okay. I has a hard head. But I can't run in a straight line. Okay. Okay. Well, you used to could just plow through it. Huh. Ah. Oh, oh alright. Ah. Well, it's not Spark's job to get the ones in the air. There's a bit of a coding issue. Because sometimes I'll come across gems where I'll stand right next to it and he won't react, but it's fine. It's fine. We love you anyway, Spark. It's not your fault. He's like, look, man, I just do all the work around here. I take the hits for you. You just collect all the treasure. <laughs> Conan the Barbler. I like how he's got like two little tiny horns in the shape of like a moustache. I thought that was cool. He reminded me of... Oh, what's that character that likes to run into windmills? Oh, Don, Don Quixote? Yes. The, 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 the old crazy jouster dude? Yes. He used to joust the windmills. I don't remember... Uh, I don't remember the full effect of that story. Same. That's all. The only thing I remember was like, once upon a time, there was a crazy old Spaniard who told his his sidekick, hey, look at those giants over there. And he was like, uh, sir, those are windmills. We use those to grind up wheat. And he's like, no, 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 those are giants. I'm going to go stab them with this big pointy stick. <laughs> and uh, then he got knocked in the head by one of the windmills. And um, yep, so that was his end. Oh, no. Weird story. Boy what do you mean? What do you mean spoilers? That story is like several hundred years old. That was weird. I thought that was a. What is this? I guess it's just a. Okay. Spot. For 
structural purposes. Structural integrity. You would know a thing or two about structural integrity, wouldn't you? I would. Because you are... An engineer. Kind of engineer. Civil. Very good. Look at this old dude. Me too, man. Me too. Bless you. Bless you, yeah. Bye, Zoe. Mm, yeah. Yeah. This poor guy gets used like a club. Boink. The turkeys? Yeah. Or the buzzards, sorry. They're not turkeys. Ah, uh, snuff them. <laughs> Oh, wow. Just, I really love this game. I can't yay. stop gushing about it. You're right over there? I said yay. Yeah, but you, you said it to the effect of, I'm going to stop being awake now. Oh, no. I'm awake. I'm awake. PK is allergic to... PK is allergic to caffeine. Isn't that terrible? I am. I'm allergic to caffeine. It's terrible. I'm allergic to cinnamon. That's also terrible. But you, most people don't rely on cinnamon to get them going throughout the day. Yeah. That's true. And Where's the key? No. No key, no key. Where the heck is the key? Wait. Uh, is it over here? I think it's over here somewhere. Oh, wait. No, it's... Uh, oh, ah! uh, what the heck? Get out of here. I remember where the key is now. You got a life. Hello? Peekaboo. <laughs> meh. Yeah. Boris. Oh, wow. Got a rattler tail. Love imagine, my confidence. Imagine, imagine having one and a half horns on your head. It must feel very off balanced. Ah, oh, just makes my neck makes my neck twinge just thinking about it. Maybe dragons have health insurance. So they can, <laughs> so they can... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to imagine that phone call. Yeah. Like a like a dragon chiropractor. Yeah. Maximus. I like this cat. Incredible glide, Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Plain boiled with a pinch of salt. My dude, we have been roasting them and they turn into unedible gems. Unedible to you, maybe. Do dragons eat their treasure? Some do. Oh. Some universes, that's in some universes that seems to be a thing. Dragons look at gems as tasty treats. Well, sometimes I too look at something and I'm like, oh, that's beautiful. I wish that was edible. I wish I could eat it. Uh, I'm trying to think of that actress's name. She won like some sort of award, and the award's in the shape of like golden popcorn. So she like, she like, she like nibbles on a little bit she's like i can't i can't eat this but thanks i guess <laughs> uh oh yes that would also be me hey zoe this is the chick where's the pizza i can't think of her name now i am the worst with names you know how i'm on about um is it that chick from hunter games yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's the one that's the actress <laughs> nope don't know her name there's no rabbits about whence, whence I need them. They're only at the beginning of the level. That's unfortunate. Hang in there, Sparks. Yes. Nah. I like that they gave him more character in... I think it was either the second or third game. 
They started giving him his own secret levels. Oh, I did not. Okay. You did it. I was like, there's no way I cleared that. You cleared it. I saw it. Oh, key. Da -da -da -da. Did that cactus just twitch? Yeah, see, check this out. If you flame it, it gets all burnt. But then it's like, yeah, whatever. Ah. I live in the desert. That ain't nothing. <laughs> can instantly Ew. can instantly destroy giant creatures with your flame breath, but can't destroy cactus. Although it might be more of a magical, magical nature. Like, oh, dragon's breath is dispelling the spell that turned the gems into. <sighs> you know what I mean. I do. You got everything here. All right, cool. Going back. We'll get you. We'll get you something to eat when we get home. Yes, Bart. There's plenty. Can I have butterflies? We have butterflies at home. Butterflies at home. Insert meme here. Butterflies at home are also rabbits. True See? story. Out of here. Bonk. Cliff Town. God, I love the music in this game. I can't decide if I like the original better. Yeah. I mean, they did a very good job being faithful to the source material. It just, I don't know, it hit different. Hmm. It might be, it might just be the nostalgia effect, though. Probably. <laughs> what about you, Blood, Blood Fang Shiro? Did you ever play Sprout? Whoa, whoa, where's he going? Okay, he's back. Bloodfang Shiro. Did you ever play Spiro when you were younger? Ooh, bonk. Nope. Okay. Well, please enjoy this very faithful recreation by Toys for Bob. Oh, Bob. That must be short for something. Robert? Yes. No. It's short for Bobbert. Bobbert. <laughs> There's some weird, like, shortenings of names. Like, why is Bill short for William? Why is no. Jim short for James? Jim? Short for James? Yeah, that's a good one. There's so many people named James at my workplace that they pretty much all go by their middle name, but they're not listed in, in the work roster. By their middle name. Oh, so it's just Jim this, Jim that. James. James is James that. Oh, okay. But one guy does go by Jim. Come back here, you. Ow. My mom works at the same firm, so sometimes she'll message me and she'll be like, which one is James so-and-so? And I'll be like, oh, that's he works in the He works in this department. Which is short for Theodore, because his middle name is Theodore. I don't get that one either. Yeah. Ted Theodore. Oh, oh, it, oh okay. Whoa. How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember, Spyro, flame won't work on metal, but charge it with your horns. I like his aesthetic. Same. He looks cool. I don't know why, just something about having a giant maw of teeth on the outside of your lips just doesn't, just rubs me the wrong way. Like such a, you'd be such a messy eater. And uh, sipping like shakes through a straw, mm -hmm. forget it. Forget it. Or eating with spoons for that matter, forget it. Nap off. You're doomed to be a carnivore. Which is weird. For some reason, I have trouble with spoons. I don't know why. Yes, you always bite them. I don't get it. I was like, don't bite. Don't bite the spoon. Don't bite the spoon. That is bad for your teeth. Jennifer. I want to say it's Lawrence. I don't know a Jennifer Carpenter. It's definitely. Yeah, Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, that's her name. Going back to the chick earlier who was like, she got the popcorn award. She's like, thanks, but I can't eat this. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty great. Pizza sounds good, actually. It does. I made an amazing stir fry last night, though. That was a really good stir fry. It's really simple. Uh, you just need one pound of ground turkey, put it in a pan with one tape out, one tablespoon 
of uh let's see i use canola no avocado no you mm, you can use avocado wait did i use avocado i want to say i used avocado oil last night you can use canola oil but i would recommend either avocado or uh cold pressed virgin olive oil you can Hmm, you can use coconut oil, but the problem with coconut oil is it's, it's really high in fat. Which normally it's it's got that good fat, though. But uh, you know you don't want to cook with coconut oil too often, because then you'll get a phone call from your doctor saying, "Oh, hey, by the way, your cholesterol is high," and you'll be like, "What?" Hmm. <clears throat> Hang on, rescue Enzo, and I'll tell you what else. Oh, that's a pineapple. That's a pineapple. Oh yeah, he does kind of. <laughs> I know he's got too much purple in his in his uh, color scheme. What was this saying? Okay, so you need one pound of ground turkey. Cook that in your tablespoon of oil. You're gonna want one cup of cooked rice, preferably white. You know, steamed rice. Of course, we have a pressure cooker, and I love that thing. I'll gladly, I'll gladly give Instapot free advertising because I love that thing. I'm so happy that you bought it. Yeah. I got so tired of trying to cook rice in a gosh darn pot like a heathen. Well, we had a rice cooker for a while, but it died. It, you know, it just, it wasn't the same. The rice cooker. Now that we have the Instapot, I can I can honestly say Ow. that the rice cooker just didn't do a very good job. Oh, the Instapot. 12 minutes, your rice is done, and it doesn't stick to the bottom, and it's that perfect it's that perfect rice for making sushi with, honestly. It's it's fluffy, it's a little sticky. Tastes good. Anyways, so your one pound of turkey meat once that's cooked. Uh, you want to get just a bottle of orange sauce, you know, like you would normally use for dipping. But you're just going to dump that entire bottle <laughs> into the, uh, I forget which brand I use. I think it's the common brand. It's like Fuso or something. It's a very common Japanese brand. That suddenly appeared. Wait, don't jump off yet. There's a, there's a treasure behind you there's a treasure behind me and to the right this way yes go back that way it's green i missed it mm -hmm. over here look left oh maybe you got it you sure you didn't mistake it for this loser no i did not it was gem shaped oh extra life butterfly Let's see, where was I? Okay, so yeah, you're just going to want to dump your entire uh, bottle of orange sauce into the meat. Stir that up. Turn it down to, like, low. You don't want the heat high. Once the meat's cooked, you want to you wanna turn that heat down low. I don't know why I didn't bash that. Mm. I was thinking about how to cook, and so my brain was just like, you need a key for that. Hmm. <clears throat> You want a handful of scallions, a.k.a. green onions. Cut the tips off, you know, so you don't have the roots. And I like to cut my scallions off like three quarters the way up. Because I find the green stalky stuff at the end just... Blech. Just chewy. Like, oh. eh. Anyways, you cut that apart and then you finally chop all that up. Throw that in there. You're gonna want a yellow onion, or I prefer yellow onions just because they're sweeter. I find. Uh, cut one of those bad boys in half. I mean, a good sized yellow onion. If you can get one like the size of your fist, you know, that's fine. It just depends how much you like the taste of onions. Size of his fist, not my fist. Oh. Well, you see, uh, like the onions that your mom gave us, the, 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 the onions that your mom gave us were the size of a softball. Those are some big honking onions. So I just used half of that. Oh. And then I finally diced that bad boy up, threw that in there. Let's see, what else? 
thought about putting mushrooms in it, but then I decided to use California medley, which is just, I mean, you can find that at most grocery stores. It's just a combination of broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. How does California get to name everything? What are you talking about? They named it after themselves. The California sushi roll, the California medley. I don't know. We should... <laughs> Let me just pull out my phone and I'll call up the governor of California. Oh, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. Brrr. Hello, this is the governor of California. How can I help you today? <laughs> nice Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. Why do you call me? I'm the governor. I'm very busy. What do you want? You gonna ask the man the question or what? No. Well, don't call me then. Oh. Click. <laughs> my love, you can't just call people and not ask them questions. It's rude. Oh. I think we're done here. Okay. Duly noted. So once y'all, you mix all that together, you put the lid on your thingy thing, and then you crank the heat up and watch it. Because as soon as your vegetables are nice and squishy, you want to dice them up into small pieces with your little stirring stick thing. I don't worry about crushing up the carrots, but definitely the broccoli and the cauliflower, because those usually come in pretty big chunks. Yeah. And once you've got everything out, so once you've got everything all warmed up and mushy, you just... Turn your heat down, you dump your rice in, you stir it all up. Ugh. Making me hungry. Easy peasy. Well, you should order us some pizza. Here. Okay. Are you or hungry now? It's gonna take a good it's gonna take an hour for the pizza to get here, isn't it? Yeah. I used to hate this level as a child. Yeah. Because with the PS1 graphics. I couldn't tell which part was really stone and which part was slippery ice. Oh. And so I would slide off the edge into the abyss. And you know me, I have a fear of heights, as it is. Right. Get out of here. Get out of here, bats. You're the reason we're all stuck indoors right now. Actually, that's not entirely true. Be nice to bats. They're suffering. There's actually, yeah, what's that dude's name? Turtle. Tuttle? I want to say something Tuttle. Dr. Tuttle. Dr. Tuttle. If you go to YouTube and look up Z Frank, that's Z E Frank, F R A N K, look up his most recent video. It's something about the bats needing your help, and he'll send you a link to the Dr. Tuttle Bat Saving Foundation. It's Ulrich! Oh, that's a big boy. <laughs> You ain't got no wings, son. You don't need him. He didn't brute forces at all. He put all his he put all his points into poise and strength, and he forgot dexterity. <laughs> his wings shrunk. So you gonna you ordering us a pizza? I think so. I thought about uh, playing the Cinders mod for Dark Souls 3 on the channel, but man, that game's hard. I'm glutton for punishment. Oh, yeah. Merlin Tuttle? That sounds right. Merlin? It's a very majestic name. One of my friends in high school, he has Aslan as his middle name. Aslan? Yes. Like the like the lion from uh, the Lion Witch in the ro Wardrobe? Yes. Wait a second. Um, I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, uh, he went to high school with his sister. What's their last name? French. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know who you're talking about. I think we were in the same grade. I think we're both seniors. <laughs> And then their mother taught English or something? Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you for releasing me. Oh. Oh, that's a very regal and majestic dragoon. Okay, so I got did I miss oh yeah, I'm backtracking for the key. All right. <laughs> what kind of pizza you want? Do you wanna just order what we bought last time? I don't remember what we bought last time. It was a supreme pizza. Did you like it? Yes. 
I don't know. I'm feeling kind of uh pineapple-y? Yeah. Ooh, here comes the debate. Pineapple on No, pizza. I've already I've already I've already went off on that and I don't remember if it was when I was playing Oblivion or when I was playing World of Warships. I was like, you know what? If you like if you like kiwi on your pizza, great. If you like peas and asparagus on your pizza, that's your business. If you're the one paying for the pizza and or cooking it, do you? You're not hurting nobody. It was World of Warships. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People just need some drama to... Ooh, look at this cool dude. Whoa. Wait a second. He looks different. He sounds familiar. No, okay. I don't know about all that, but she's the, he's the first dragon we've come across with feathers as opposed to uh, membranes for wings. Also, he's the first dragon we've come across with cat eyes or reptilian eyes. Yes. All of them up to this point have had round eyes. <laughs> Which I thought was weird, but I guess... Maybe when the game originally came out, they were like, ah, uh, reptilian eyes might be too scary for kids. They're right. I don't know what you're talking about. I... Some I, kids. Are scared of that sort of thing? Yeah. It's weird, though. But I love salamanders. They're so cute. They're so cute. They, like, get... Most of them have, like, this perpetual smile on their face. And And then there's the frogs. You like you really like frogs for some reason. I don't know why. Ow. Oh no! Rude. Rude. Not supposed to put rocks in your snowball, loser. Yeah. I'll, I'll find a bat later on. <laughs> okay, yeah, this part as a kid used to terrify me. It's or still s scary. <laughs> well, the the. It, the bridge felt a little bit narrower, and plus it was younger technology, so the the joystick wasn't as smooth in its motion. You know, it was a little janky. So, like, here now, you've got... Hang on, let me get this bat. Eh. Eh. Come here. Oh, eh. Okay, whatever. Now, if you just barely push on the joystick, you can do, like, this little uh, trot. Mm-hmm. I so think it was all or nothing before? Yeah, it was pretty it was pretty difficult to um like just gently push it in. So you had to be careful. Sorry, Dr. Tuttle. But we need but we but we need bats. Yes. They are like like bees. Pollinators. They're pollinators. Did he just destroy that chest for you? Uh, debatable. I wasn't paying that close of attention. Get out of here. Guy. Now that is definitely not water. No, it looks scary. It's so gooey looking. <laughs> Bonk. Bonk. Alright, come here. Nope. Where are you getting it from? At uh, Greenville Greenville Avenue, down in. No, no, I don't care where you get it from, as long as you get it here within like an hour. Okay. That way we can, like, take a break and eat pizza, and then we'll come back and play more Spyro. <laughs> yes, Spyro the Dragon. Bonk. Careful, Bat. You've done well, Spyro. Does he have a hammer on his tail? You weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Uh, ready for what? Oh, yeah, it's got... Ganasty Ganork. Ow. I haven't forgot about you, dude. Calm down. 
Hey, don't worry about it, dude. Thanks for freeing me, Spyro. And now, where was I? I hope to be that, uh... <laughs> I don't know. I'm only in my 30s and I've already got gnarly back problems. Oh, I forgot about those. The gnarly back problems? Well, that's good. No, no, I forgot about the lives hidden up there. Oh. Ow. Yeah, see, I thought so. I thought I saw like a hammer thing on his tail. Is it this way? Yeah. Well, no. It neighbors, has begun. It has begun. Our neighbors cranked up his... Well, they won't hear it. They won't hear it on my microphone. They might hear it on yours. Should I unplug my microphone? Nah. Maybe they won't. Maybe we can hear it loud and clear. Hey, uh, Shiro, do you hear a leaf, a leaf blower? blower? Okay, good. Yeah, we just we we got PK like this cute, cheap little pill-shaped. Uh, what is it? Razor? Mm -hmm. It's pink. It's pink. But I want to get her a proper condenser microphone mm. here next paycheck. Maybe. I don't. I don't make a lot of money being a disabled veteran. Uh, but I would like to buy some better equipment. Is that everyone? Wait. Hang on. Uh, that's one, two, three. Yeah, then the night fight. Okay. So it should just be the boss fight now. Boss time. Boss time. I need a... I need a rabbit. Yes. Get out of here. Uh. Yeah, but rabbits, they breed like... Rabbits. Well, well, rabbits... I, uh, I appreciate the humor. What was that Disney movie? Like Zootopia? Yes. Like they still went with that joke, but I was like, the reason rabbits breed so hardcore is because they're like bottom tier. Uh, prey. Yeah. You're prey. You're either prey or predator. Yeah. But once like you have a society, we live in a society. Um, you shouldn't need to breed so hard. <laughs> But it was it was good for a laugh as she was leaving her hometown like the population was just like a just constantly going up. Going up. Constant flux. Uh what was good, big mama? Oh, okay. Oh, he just straight up ran into a wall and died. I mean pooped. I see what you I see what you did there, Toys for Bob. It kind of... No, it's a little different. I used to think, like, the little... The little masks on the end of their sticks looked a lot like, uh... Uka Uka and Aku Aku from Crash Bandersgunt. Which Toys for Bob also did a remake of. And an excellent one at that. If y'all want us to... If y'all want us to play that on the channel as well, please let us know. Yes. Please let us know if you would like us to play Crash Bandicoot. After yeah, but in yeah, but in Zootopia, it wasn't like it wasn't like it wasn't like the wolves and the foxes and the eagles. Or, wait, there were no birds in Zootopia. Now that I think about it, no, they were only the mammals. Only the mammals. Oh yeah, I thought that was weird. Yeah. Because uh, one of the dudes who fell sick was like an otter. I was like, otters aren't predators, but then technically they are, they're omnivores. Ooh, purple gem. Hey, get. You got it. <sighs> oh, look at those solar flares coming off the uh, eclipse. Man, 
There's gonna be a total eclipse here in Texas. When? In 2014. Tw 2024, I mean. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you guys from Florida? No, we're from the future. <laughs> the far off year of 2002. <laughs> That's, I told you that joke from Harvey Birdman, attorney at law. Did I not tell you that joke? No, I don't remember that joke. Okay, so, hang on. Oh, look at the dreadlocks. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I tell you one thing. He should watch his back. Ooh. Okay, so in the Hanna-Barbera universe, uh, Hanna-Barbera owned uh, the Jetsons, Johnny Quest, Harvey Birdman, and a bunch of other cartoons. I need to go that way right now. No, I think I do that at the end. And so, come on, turn out. Oh, 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 okay. You're supposed to. All right, whatever. <clears throat> so, somebody, Adult Swim, created a cartoon called Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. And it's in his later years when he stops being like a superhero and he decides to be become a lawyer. Okay, so this is when he does the spin. Come on. <laughs> and so in an alternate timeline, the Jetsons, which their uh, timeline is set in like 2002, which, you know, it originally aired in like the 40s or the 50s, right? Right, yeah. So years of, manipula years of manipulating the environment and the weather, you know, just one day suddenly the weather becomes uncontrollable. And the world, you know, uh, just become the, all the polar ice caps melt, and the world floods, and so uh, the Jetsons boy Elroy creates a time machine, and so they come back to the past, air quotes, so they can sue society from the past uh, for for you know not properly recycling and crap and messing with the weather, messing with the weather, <laughs> so. So they show up in Harvey Birdman's office and, you know, in the Jetsons, they have like these little, uh, these little belts. So they don't like really walk anywhere. Like all the long intersections have like these belts. So people just stand on these belts and they take them to their destination, like across the room or across the house or whatever. Oh. So they walk into Harvey Birdman's office and it's this long office, but there's no belt and they don't know how to walk that far. So it takes them several days to approach Harvey's desk and Harvey's sidekick, whose name I forget, is like, you guys from Florida? Because, you know, Florida is known for doing weird stuff. And uh, George Jetson, the father's like, no, we're from the future. The far off year of 2002. So then Harvey looks at his calendar and it's like August of 2004. <laughs> Anyways, that was a long-winded joke. <clears throat> You order that pizza? I did. Sweet. When will it be here? 207. Yo, what it? Are you sure? 213 now. It means, oh, it says 255 to 305. It's in the works as of 207. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm Pocket Kitten. I know how to read. I'm not dyslexic. You're dyslexic. Yeah. 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 That Bonk. Oh no. Don't come oh. over here. Don't approach me. Uh are we Cave Johnson? I think we're Cave Johnson. Hooray! Another world under the belt. Under the belt. What's up, Gosnold? Yeah, dude. It was practically just lying around. Oh, if you're ready. Oh, I miss my chiropractor visits. No. <sighs> Everyone take a second to hydrate. <sighs> hydrate, Tom. <sighs> and I'm going to go find my socks. Now my feet are cold. Okay, go find your socks. I'm just going to run over here and try and 
Actually, I think it might be easier once I reach the uh, supercharge point. Although I used to be able to do it without that. In the... Oh, you found him! I thought you were actually going somewhere. I turned around and you're still in your chair. Oh. In the PS... Well, I, I rotated my chair and they were sitting on the floor. So I was like, ha! Huh. Oh, that's convenient. Past the Did he just kiss? I don't know. I missed it. Kind of looked like he kissed it. Hang on. Watch it. He'll hopefully he'll do it again. Oh, oh yeah. My goodness. That's a smooch. Oh, I don't like these socks. You don't like those socks? Why not? What happened? What's wrong with them? They're not enough. Okay, we'll go get you some socks. Daddy. Give me an egg fool. Don't understand the uh, water pits. Hmm. Oh, those look even less fuzzy. No, I didn't. I didn't want the fuzzy ones, apparently. Apparently. What's up, Cosmos? <laughs> so regal. He so has to look regal. At the ceiling when he talks. Bonk, 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 bonk. Nice. <laughs> nice. There's like a chief. Bowling. What is that called? A spare? No, when you knock all of them all out in one go. Yes. That's called a strike. Oh. Which is weird, right? Because in baseball, a strike is when you completely miss. Well, of course, it's confusing. Is this man just wearing underpants and like a bathrobe? Yes. Alright. Nasty, Nasty Nork isn't very creative. I don't know. You remember the Lego movie? The Lego movie? The Lego movie. You know, everything is awesome. Oh, I love that movie. Yes. Uh, the, the helper dude who helps Emmett along find his destiny or whatever. Yes. If you look closely at his character design, he's just an old hobo wearing a bathrobe. And his staff is just a popsicle. A popsicle? No, it's a, a lollipop that's been mostly eaten. Oh. He was wearing a bathrobe the whole a, time? He has a bathrobe. Look it up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I knew about the lollipop. Oh, ow. Jeez. Oh, I forgot they're wearing metal. How cheap the bulls. Good thing these sheep are here. They're not sheep. Those weren't sheep? I think they're mountain goats. Oh. Or they might be elk. It's hard to tell the way they hip hop happening. Hip hop happening, sheep. They're not sheep, though. Hip hop happening, not sheep. Ooh. Ooh. Is this your card? Bye, Xandor. Secret time! Oh, heck, I forgot. I don't have the key yet. It's not secret time. Not secret time? No. You can't just call everyone else not mum. Yes, you can. And then everyone else is peasants. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'ma get you! Bonk. Okay. Charging through. Okay, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Nice. Did you get it? I got it. Oh my goodness. That took me forever <laughs> when I tried to play. <sighs> I... This seems a little irrelevant. A little unrelevant, but hear me out. So I like playing Doom, but the problem is everything happens so gosh darn fast. It's like less than 10 frames a second, and I my brain can't keep up with it. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's how fast animation should work. I mean... It's it's complicated, but I digress. Oh. Bonk. Bonk. Hey, okay, I have the key. Whoops. Missed it. Got it that time. All right. Boulder. Boulder? Ooh. What's in the what's in the bobble? What 
What's in the bobble, I wonder? What if he drops it and cracks the bobble and he's like, Oh God, everyone hold your breath! Right? Or what if... It just explodes. What if when he's walking and he leans on it too hard? Oh, and he shatters it under his weight? Yeah. Ew. Uh, stress that thing a lot. Hmm. Probably magic glass. Probably magic glass. So if he drops it or leans it just on bounces. It, it just bounces. It just bounces. I think there's a dude over here still. Oh yeah, there you are. Ah! What you gonna do, breadstick nose? What you gonna do, radish hat? I always thought it was more like a mushroom because it's like red with white spots. It's got leafy greens sticking out of it. Touche. Um, what did I forget to do? I don't know, but we can I don't think I went all the way down. To the again and... I didn't go all the way down to the end. Up. Oh, I can't do that. I'll just do this. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh, that's water. It's cold. Cold water. Stop that. Cold water. Oh, that reminds me. We need to call my day in. And have him come look at our sink. Oh, we're gonna go see your grands tomorrow. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah. So what is that? It's a mountain. It's definitely. I mean, I think it's more of a goat, isn't it? Yeah. Very fluffy goat. Very fluffy goat. Okay, there we go. Now we've got all the loot. Proving. All right. Now we can begin the actual levels in earnest. Are we just going to their house, or? We're going to lunch. And then we're going to their house. Oh, okay. Oh, right, to look at the furniture, but I can't... I guess we should reach out to them and figure out what we're supposed to do for lunch, or maybe we'll just meet them at their... Are we meeting them at their house or at some place? I don't know. Okay. We'll just need to text them when we take our pizza break. Pull your microphone down just a little bit. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. okay. How's this? I forgot it was inverted. Um, yeah, there you go. You want the you want the silver mesh part directly in front of your face? Not the not the pretty pink part? Not the pretty pink part. Hmm. That's just for looks. It looks great. I don't suddenly my brain forgot how to control inverted things. So I was like, uh, yeah. Yeah. My brain always forgets that. Did I get all of them? Oh, I missed one. Okay. Okay. Airplanes. 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 And last airplane. All right. What did I? Okay. The chests. A whoosh. Two. Three. Four. Sorry, this is how I concentrate. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Yay, I did it. All right, first try. High five. Nice. Oh, nice, crisp. <sighs> Good job. <clears throat> Uncle. Thank you, Zoe, Chloe, whichever one you may be. <laughs> I... Oh, what the... no. The heck, man? What the heck, man? It hurts. Okay, so hopefully there's not a bug in this level. Because I came across it once before. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. So sometimes the... Uh, I think they're called druids won't uh, manipulate the land and so I was unable to get through and I had to I had to pull up like a mod thing that allowed me to jump super high that way I could fly through the hole fun times doesn't sound fun yeah, it was, it was mediocre super, times super easy barely an inconvenience Bye. where are you going Spyro he just wants a nosedive I forget the name of that channel. Nice. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. 
They're like, so you've got a movie for me. Yes, sir, I do. Pitching, the movie pitching. Oh yeah, it was a movie pitching idea or something. All right, so far so good, because this dude is manipulating the stairs as he should be. Uh, uh, got it. All right, got it, got it. And, oh, oh, okay. All right. Don't, don't, okay. I like how they bow towards each other when they pass. That's, that's cute. Those neat little interactions that make the characters of the world feel more alive. I like that. Gives you that immersive feel. Yikes. Zane! How does he get his hat on? I think I think it's a one and done type deal. Just grew into it, can't take it off? No, I mean I think you can take it off, but I think it's an ordeal. So you just you, you don't you don't you don't take it off once you have it on. Unless you absolutely have to. Get out of here. And then there's these guys, which are a pain in the patoot. But they fight with the other ones. Yeah. Alright, that wasn't so hard. That wasn't so bad. You got them all in like one shot. So remember it being a lot more difficult as a child. Hey, okay, come on. One, two, three, four. Got it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, how do I do the... All right, left analog. Okay. All right, we got. Okay. Okay. I'm not scared of heights. Just kidding. I really am. Heights and. Uh oh. Heck. Okay, there we go. <laughs> the open ocean. What are some of your irrational fears, PK? Thunder. PK is afraid of thunder. Don't like it. Don't it care. Makes no sense, too. Like I know what it is. I'm inside. It's not gonna harm me. Things are fine, and I'm just shaking like Oops. a leaf. No. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I like all the games respectively, but I guess. My favorite was in the th was in the second game when I was like, oh, "You can, you can, you can do, you can be in the water and not get hurt." And then you learned how to swim, and I was like, "This is the best game ever!" But yes, uh, PK's afraid of thunder. <clears throat> Eldred. He's got corks in his nose. He's got corks at the top of his horns, too. Why does he have corks in his nose? I don't know. To not breathe in the possibly dangerous Noxious fumes? fumes. Huh. How did you learn how to swim? Me? Yes. <laughs> My, <laughs> the classic southern way. My uncle was like, you're five now. Yeet. <laughs> <laughs> Into the deep end you go. I needed myself on a dare. Oh yeah? Tell us about this dare. So we were all in the shallow end. All these kids. Uh, no lifeguard. Oh dip. Uh, my dad was supposed to be watching. Anyways. And one of the kids triple dog dared me. Oh heck. To jump off the high dive. You don't. That's 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 kind of a that's kind of a big deal in grade school. You yeah. don't. First of all, you don't just triple dog dare somebody. You gotta, you gotta be able to back that up. And then secondly, you just don't ignore a triple dog dare. You've got to be able to counter that with something if you can't meet the dare. So, so they triple dog dared you. Six-year-old me 
was like hold up I like his crystal wing So six-year-old you got triple dog dare to jump like, off the high dive. Oh, the high dive, no less. This wasn't just jump off in the deep end. This is one of those pools where they had like the ladder that you had to climb up on, and then a platform. And it and it and it, 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 it took you it took you like five minutes to climb up the ladder. Yes, so you get to think about your decision the whole time. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? As well, yeah. Yeah, we'll get those egg suckers. All right, so please monologue for a bit because I gotta deal with this dude, and he—he's fast. He's very fast. He's a pain to catch up to. Well, I'll tell you about how I learned how to swim. Yeah. Got triple dog dared at six year old to jump off the high dive into the deep end, and this is like the really deep end because. This is the high dive. So. How deep we talking? Like 12, 16 no, feet? No, it was deeper than 12 foot. I don't remember what it was. Like, there's specifications for how deep something has to be for something that you jump off of. Was it like a? Was it like at a park or was it like a country club pool? Oh, it was a country club pool, but it they had like this area for Olympic swimming, mm -hmm. so you can swim back and forth. Um, or and then there was this other area on the side that was specifically meant for like jumping off of. To practice your form for high dives. Right, right, which I was not in the practicing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know how to swim. Anyway. Heck. Anyway, so I climbed up there and got to the edge. And so the kids, they don't know how to swim either. Got it. So they're sitting on the edge of the pool. And I jumped off. And then I sunk like a rock down to the bottom. This is how it ends. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait. It wasn't until I jumped off and hit the water that I realized, wait. How am I? How am I going to get out of this? How am I going to get out of this? <laughs> and then, so you just sunk to the bottom like, well, this is my life now for the next couple of seconds until I drown. So... Thankfully, up until this point, whole summer long, we've been having competitions for holding our breath underwater. Ah, uh, okay. That that literally saved my life because I sunk down to the bottom, and when I got there, I just pushed off with my feet and surfaced and then sank to the bottom again and did that until I got to the edge of the pool. Ah, well done. There was some kicking and moving my arms. That may or may not have aided me. I'm not really sure. Just pretend you're a frog. So that's what started it. Bravo. After that, I was like, I didn't. If I'm going to be doing this kind of stuff, I better know how to swim. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ugh. And that's how PK learned to swim. At the very least, not drowned. Yeah. Yeah. I think the main thing was not panicking. Like I hit hit the water and I was like, mmm. This was a bad idea. <laughs> Who's controlling the weather? That guy. This guy. Hey, chat, what are some of your irrational fears? I'm waiting for the whirlwind to come down. Yep, there it is. Whoosh. Nothing. All right. That would be pretty annoying. Yeah. Little change is good for you, but um, constant movement would make it difficult for you to center yourself and focus. Mm -hmm. I have a thing in the military because as we've 
As we discussed at the beginning of every episode, I'm a disabled veteran. They have a thing in the military, uh, particularly in uh, boot camp, called a shark attack. Where your TI, like your main TI, will give you a set of instructions while other TIs um, will yell random... Oh, what? Well, well, okay. Uh, other TIs will, ra will yell random things at you. And it's called a shark attack. And what it is, is it's training for you to focus on the task at hand that you need to perform while, you know... Tuning uh, out the other stuff? While tuning out, uh, like, a combat environment. So, you know, guns going off, bombs exploding, people yelling in pain and guts flying through the air. You know, that sort of thing. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, if you're not trained and prepared for that, you'll just... You know, you'll shrink up. Oh, hey, it's that artist dude from the first world. Remember oh, it him? Is. I wonder if that was a self-portrait of his. You think they got mirrors? They probably got mirrors. They have magic. They got magic. They can magic I'm, themselves up a mirror. I'm pretty sure there was a time when people thought mirrors were, ma were was witchcraft. Probably. I mean, glass is pretty weird, too. They used to make it out of silver, but now they make it out of, what, aluminum? Oh, I don't know. It's one of my favorite scenes in the Tenth Kingdom. Oh, yeah! That was, that was a good making, series. Where they're making the mirrors. I don't remember that part. Well, we have to rewatch the whole thing, then. We have to rewatch <laughs> the whole thing. All ten hours, or whatever it is. It was a good. Sh it was a good. Sh it was a good show series type thing. Oh, I enjoyed it greatly. I, I thought the wolf's character was a little weird, but it was overall a good show. He was meant to be weird. That was the. That was the whole point. The whole point. Daddy. Got that egg sucker. We have freed the baby. You took a mirror. Your soul. Oh, there are still people who think mirrors are witchcraft. For example, if you look at a mirror. Your soul gets trapped, or if a spirit looks into a mirror, it gets trapped, etc., etc. That was in a. Uh, speaking of Shia LaBeouf, that was in um ah, what was that movie with Shia LaBeouf and uh, Neo from the Matrix? I I cannot think of his name. I have no idea. Neo, no, no, something starts with an N. Anyways, there's a scene where they hold this possessed chick down and they hold a mirror over her and. They cite this incantation and it's supposed to suck the demon or the spirit out of her. What was the name of that daggum movie? Oh well. Whee! And it had Tilda Swint Swinton in it as an angel. Because a Apparently she's, she looks rather gender neutral. She could be either a dude or a woman. Ah, heck. Constantine, thank you, sir. Yeah, it was a scene from Constantine. I really should free that dragon, but I just keep forgetting to do it. <laughs> we'll do it when we get back. He'll be fine. It's not like he's going anywhere. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> So sometimes these dragons wake up and they talk about how they've been chatting with one another. Okay. Do you think they're frozen like this, but they're still able to communicate? That is an interesting take. See, how, see what I did there? No? How did you get him from over here? Okay, so these little doodads... Whatever you're pointing at, whenever you hit, whenever you flame them three times, uh -huh. the lids will pop off in that direction. If uh... I aim this way, it flies over there, and it hits the uh... the egg goat. sucker. The, no, the mountain goat. Well, that time it hit the mountain goat. But yes, the first time I aimed at the uh, egg sucker. <laughs> All right. Go free the dragon, because then I have to deal with the cave spiders. Mm -hmm. Ajax! Francis! I hate those bugs. When I become big and Bye! Like you, Did you see the fairies waving? I see him. Jesus, remember that supercharge makes 
to Invincible. Like how, Skirt! I like how the butterfly is able to keep up. Uh. Mm. Where is he? Should be a third one. All right. Oof. Oh my goodness, you almost ran off the edge. And we're back to the beginning. X. Okay, so that should have been the original three. The other, we'll just have to bob and weave. There you are. Oh, how the heck? See, like, it's just sparks. sparks. Sparks, buddy. Buddy. Come on, you can do it. No? Okay. Uh, I, I got you. Sparks. <laughs> this way, I don't. Yeah, I can't make that. I can't make that with the supercharge. I don't. I won't have the arc for it. Okay. So the trick is to run over here, blame this dude, and get over here before the spider grabs you. Okay. Rinse and repeat. Of course, here, there's a platform, so for whatever reason, the spider's like, oh no, I can't jump up there. Here you go, friend. Have us a smooch, please. Aww. And now I've got super, super flamey, flamey breath. Super flamey, flamey breath? Yep. Mm, yeah. Oh. Plus, he just looks cool. He's all glowy. I like that aesthetic. Uh, where did I forget? Did we go straight? Well, we haven't gone left. Was that a purple? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bonk. Cedric the Entertainer. Try combining your supercharge with jumping and gliding, and really explore the high caves. Yum, 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 yum. Yes. That should be game. Yeah, <laughs> we did it. Nice. Five hundo. Oh, goodness. <laughs> 42 dragon. I did the flying level already, right? Yeah, that was the first one you did. Okay, I, I really like flying. Which is weird, right? Because I have a fear of heights. Yes. But I think the thing is... Not being able to control my... Descent, mm -hmm. I think is the fear that I have. But once you have the ability to fly, you're like, oh, this isn't so bad. So I can control my fate. Hmm. That makes sense. It's like, I don't mind, I don't mind swimming in pools so much uh, because I can see the bottom of the pool and I know, hey, this is a controlled environment. There's no freaking sharks, alligators, crocodiles, or fracking gars. Mm. I'm not worried about it. Also, because pools are generally cleaner than lake waters. Well, sparks. Here's sparks the thing: the lakes in Texas are not natural. Most of them aren't because of all the gosh darn uh, dams that have been built. Texas only has one natural lake. Who dat? Caddo. And then we. Do Where? It's it's on the border of Louisiana. I don't, I'm not familiar with that one. Okay. So we we damned it too, though, to make oh, okay. it bigger. Fair enough. Hey, we get. Uh, that's how we. That's how we make a lot of power, though. A lot of power, and that's where we get a lot of our drinking water from. We pull it from surface waters, and then we treat it and send it to people's homes. I thought Texas had a lot of aqu aquifers, or is that mid to west? That's mid to west. Okay. Not a whole lot of water out there, though. It's cheaper to treat surface water than it is to treat groundwater. Oh, that makes so sense, that I suppose. That's the preference. Well, alrighty then. 
There are a lot of rivers in Texas. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, the Trinity River is the big one nearby, but it's... Ah, it's just... Oh, it's filthy. It's disgusting. I've seen people fishing out of it and uh, paddle boating, and I'm just like, what are you... What are you doing? A lot of the lakes around here have, like, don't swim in these <laughs> notices. Which is weird because there are some sizable catfish in Lake uh, Ray Hubbard. So I have been told. <laughs> right in the face. Right in the face. Get out of here. No. No. Okay, so these guys are annoying. I don't know why, but their, like, aggro range is different than most, uh, bruisers. Hmm. Like, no, like, most bruisers, I'm not afraid to, like, just run up to and instantly flame. But these guys, their aggro range is a little bit farther away. So you gotta sort of taunt them. Keep your distance. You gotta, yeah, you gotta get them to swing. And then as soon as the club hits the ground, you can you charge in and flame them. them. Okay, I th think that's the starting area. I like the decals. Very nice. Can I look straight up? Okay, it's not a hole there. Do, 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 do. I oh okay. I didn't see the hallway at first. I was like, where do I go? Hello. Now we can free this fellow. Hello, fellow dragon. Jarvis. Welcome to Wizard Peak. This is my favorite supercharged spot. Who that? Pizza. Is the pizza here? Will you go get the pizza, please? Yes. I think it's the pizza. All right, you can stop pushing the doorbell now. I'm gonna supercharge these fellows right in the groin. Ow. Mmm, yeah. I think I can just supercharge these things. Yeah. All right, check this out. I liked Spyro so much when I was a kid. Uh, well, when I originally convinced my father to buy the game, I I was like, I was like really excited for it. I was really into it. I was like, oh, you got to get it to it proper. You got to get the Prima official strategy guide. Because this was back before, you know, the internet was a really big thing. So if you wanted to 100% a game, you had to get the the, the uh, you had to get the strategy guy. Okay, now how do I? Do I just? I think I can make that. Maybe. Oh, buddy, get out of here. Nothing to it. Swipey swipe. Come on. Come on. After you, sir. Daddy. All right. Nothing to it. Like, with that strategy guide, you'd never know that egg dude was back there. Well done, Spyro. Thank you for releasing me. He's got, like, a phoenix on the end of his stick. What's up, dudes? Why don't I just become the strategy guide? Because as we've previously discussed in many playing through many playthroughs i have the attention span of a rock and the memory of a goldfish of course like in in this one in this one instance though there was treasure uh leading off to the side so it's like oh what could be back here but unfortunately, you go back here and there's nothing. So, they should have done that with the other spot. It's called good game design. Is that the was that the pizza? Twice he kept bringing it. Pizza time. He was there. He didn't just set it down on the thing. Uh, okay. But he did leave though. 
Cool beans. I forgot how I deal with this guy. I think it's just like the one back in... Oh, okay. He do he just doesn't move. Well, good. Bye, egg sucker. Thanks for the free egg. Oh, that's it. That's egg. that's it. That's, that's all the baby that's, dragon in there. That's all the eggs in the game. There, which I thought was weird because there's two worlds after this one, and then there's nasty. Wait, is there two worlds? Yeah, because after this is. Let's see, there's Dreamweavers, but not after this. I forget which comes after this one. There's definitely two more worlds after this. He's gonna get squished. Squish him. Do it. Do it. Squish him. No? Okay, now y'all don't care about each other? There oh, wait. He got hit. What happened? Okay, that got him. Eh, whatever. Weird. Do it. Do it! <clears throat> Ooh, nice hovering. Nice underoos. Lucas! I like how he's got like a little magnetic ball thing. Try jumping on the stones there. I think home world waterfall. Sounds good. We already did that. That was the first thing we did. That was one of the first things we did. All right. And we are 100% complete here. I think we just have one more level. Uh that's the boss for this area. Then we'll take a break, eat some pizza and then we'll come back, yeah? Unless they're doing construction again. Yes. Oh, no. I think they're done. One Wait, who's doing construction? Well, last week, someone started building something while they were mowing. Oh. Oh, yeah. There's... It really does seem like they've been working on that house at the end of the street for the longest time now. For the longest time. Whoa. I hear oh, someone. Of, I hear someone hammering now. Hammering now. You just had to. I just had to say <laughs> it. Spoke it into existence. The whooshy whoosh. My sister thought this level was funny because the boss's name was Blowhard. She was like, his name is Blowhard. And I, even me being the innocent young child that I was, I was like, I don't get it. What does it mean? She goes, oh. You'll figure it out when you get older. And she was right. Honestly, he's not the hardest boss. Is he easier than the sheep on the stilts? Sheep on the stilts. Um, oh yeah. Actually, well, the thing about uh, Toasty where the annoying uh, sheep dogs that jumped at you, their tracking was way, way too good. See, this dude is just a floating beard. You just jump up, flame him, and he's gone. He's a pizzle. Lemon squeezy? Is a pizzle lemon squizzle. Hey, stop that. Ooh. Nice old dude. I'll tear. Thanks for releasing me, Spyro. You have no idea how long I've been trapped in crystal. And uh neither do I. He sounds familiar. Are you again? Um I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> He's got feather wings also. I'm trying to think where I've heard his voice. I've no idea how long I've been trapped in crystal. What is it? When you go eat pizza, I shall cook some food for myself too, because I haven't ate yet and it's 4 p.m. Oh my god. I want to be, I could at least, if I want to be, I could last a while without food because I just don't feel hunger for some reason. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. I get that. Well, the problem for me is that, um,. My stomach is currently shrinking because you know you just you just have to you have to have the willpower to say no. I don't need to eat this much in one sitting because when you gorge yourself, your stomach expands and then it wants to be filled up. 
but if you control if you control it your stomach will shrink and then you won't be so hungry all the time it's just so hard because pizza or food in general it tastes so good except for when it doesn't mm. which is probably why most diet foods is disgusting probably Clancy Brown I knew it what what else has he voiced I know that name it sounds familiar His voiceover work includes Lex Luthor from the DC Animated Universe. Oh, yeah. He was also Dr. Neil Cortex in the Crash Bandicoot franchise. He's Mr. Krabs? <laughs> what? Blast you, Spyro. Uh, oh, he, was he Hank Anderson in Detroit? Became Who's Hank Anderson? Was that the uh, human detective? I don't know who Surtur is, although I do remember Thor Ragnarok. Go to the guidebook. Gone. Okay. Yeah, all right, yeah, he was the human detective, the old sour dude, yeah. I remember watching Jack Septicai play that a bit. All right, cool, so that's two worlds. We're gonna take a pizza break. We'll be back in, what, 30 minutes? You eat faster than I do. So we'll so, be back in 30 minutes. <laughs> when you're done and I'm still eating. Fire dragon? Uh, get uh, out of there. I don't remember there being a fire dragon in Thor Ragnarok. You mean the, uh, the, the like, end times boss at the end of the fight? Was that the enemy at the end of the movie that they were like, uh, where Thor was trying to fight it. And he's like, no, you moron giant at the end of the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thor, uh, the Hulk was trying to fight it. And Thor was like, no, you moron, don't. And he, But Hulk's like, what big monster? Nah. All right, cool. I don't remember him having dialogue. Um, ready. Oh, that's right. Boink. He's like, you cannot defeat me. And he's like, we can't, but he can. All right. Yeah, I remember that part. <sighs> All right. Beastmakers. That was the fourth world I couldn't remember the name of. All right. So we're going to take a PC break. We'll be back in like 30 minutes to an hour. <sighs> right, love? Yes. Okay. Say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Obligatory. Chickens! Chickens!